Hey everybody, Patton here. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add folders to your mini systems using Hatchy CE. You'll wanna use folders because you can only have so many games per page on your system before it starts to slow it down. I believe on the NES and SNES classics, these are about 40 games. On the Genesis, you can probably reach closer to 100 games before it really starts slowing your system down. Before we get started, a quick review on how to mod your system. Simply go to the kernel tab, click install repair, Click yes, hold reset and push power on your mini system to allow it into FEL mode and then Hatchy will do the rest. If you need more detailed instructions on how to initially mod your system, I have the mod video in my description below. And once you see the green light in the corner, you're ready to go. First thing we're going to do is add our games to Hatchy by highlighting them, dragging them directly into the system. After you've added all of your games, you want to go to this structure button at the top. And by default, it is set to Disable Pages or Folders. You want to go down one option to Custom. You're going to have to do this one more time. Go back to Structure, down to Custom again, and as soon as you click, a new window will open. So the Home Menu folder is basically what you see when you first turn on your system. It should have all the list of games that you've put on your system. If you'd like to manually create your folders, you go to the New Folder option over here. Name it how you want. And from here, you can drag and drop games into that folder. You can even drag and drop them into the folder over here on the left. Say you've changed your mind and you don't want to have that custom folder anymore. All you have to do is make sure that the home menu folder is highlighted and click no folders here at the top. It'll take you back to what you had before you started. You can split your original games with the other games. So if we look at our home menu, we now have all the original games over here. And if we scroll down, we have another folder that says more games. If we check out this folder, here's the games that we manually added. You can split your games equally. Separate your games by letter. Separate your games by console. And you can even separate them by genre. For the rest of this video, I'm going to sort my games by console. If you'd like to change your folder art, you can click on one of your folders over here on the left. And then click on the folder itself. There are a lot of folder options here. This add home option will add a button to your menu that will take you back to this home menu in case you have folders within folders within folders. It's just a quick way to return back to the main menu. You can also select if you want the back button in the rightmost or leftmost position. Once you have your folders the way you like, hit OK, then hit synchronize selected games with mini. Now anytime you have the custom option selected and you hit synchronize, the folder option will automatically come up. So you don't have to manually do this every time. If you're looking to add different games to different folders, anytime you synchronize with that custom option selected, this will pop up. Looks like we're all set here. Let's head over to the mini, take a look at our folders. Looks like all our folders are set up. We have our Atari, Game Boy, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Let's head into one of them and take a look at our games. Here we go. In this folder, we don't have too many games, just a few Super Nintendo, and then we have our back button. Now you can see when I reach the end of the list here, the screen kind of snaps over. If you want to prevent that, you want to keep around 11 to 13 games in each folder, and it should be nice and smooth. By hitting the back button, we should be heading back to the home menu, and here we are. And that's it. Remember, if you need any help with anything, you can head over to the Rockin' the Classics Discord or subreddit, and you can get some assistance there. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.